Hey guys, it's Skelta, and today I'm going to be talking about my nose piercing. Now, exactly a week ago, I got my nose pierced on my right side, and I've been wanting my nose pierced since I was in 6th grade, and now I'm in 10th grade. So, I begged and begged and begged my dad and my mom and my stepmom to get my nose pierced. The only cons of having nose piercing is when you're trying to sleep and you lay your head on the pillow, you can end up ripping out your nose piercing, which they do recommend putting a band-aid on your nose, but I just, I didn't want to accidentally stick the sticky part to my nose piercing and rip it out. So I got my nose pierced for $40 and the lady had me sign a contract, I walked back and I'm sorry I could not film the video, she would not let me, she said I could take pictures but I didn't take any pictures, there really wasn't much. So she took me to the back, I sat down in the seat, and my little sister was sitting next to me because she was so excited to watch me get my nose pierced. And so she marked the dot on my nose and I looked at it and I said I didn't like the spot because it was too far forward. Like she put it way up there and I told her I didn't like it that far forward because it wasn't in the little dimple, the dip part of my nose. And she said, if I put it any further back, I'm going to hit like the main vein or something like that. And, or some vein. I told her, it doesn't matter if I bleed a little bit as long as it's in the right spot. I just don't want to bleed to death. <laughs> so I had her move it and she was getting all irritated at me for some reason. But whatever. I'm paying you to pierce my nose. She used to clamp. She clamped my nose and then she stuck the needle through and the jewelry she used is a nose bone jewelry and if you guys don't know what a nose bone jewelry is, I'll insert a picture right here. Basically, she pierced my nose and put the nose bone jewelry in. Now the catch with that, the jewelry she had in the uh, in a little box, a box that came in like 50 of them. Now they're the smallest jewels she has and the only nose piercing jewelry she has, which I thought was kind of sketchy. And the same time, that my stepmom actually has the same box of jewelry but in the L shape. We bought that for like $12 on Amazon so I thought that was kind of weird that I paid $40 for a really cheap piece of jewelry for her to put a hole in my nose. I would have rather filmed it and put a hole in my nose myself. So what I use to clean my nose piercing with is, I know you guys are going to get all mad at me, is rubbing alcohol and it's 50% Isperol alcohol, I don't know how to say that word, but so I clean my nose piercing with alcohol. The reason is, is because I used the sea salt solution and sea salt soaks on my rook piercing. Now I got my rook pierced about a half a year ago and it's still not healed. Like I touch it and I can still feel it and it hurts and my ear still swells up from time to time. Yes, I do know that's what cartilage piercings do. I do have another cartilage piercing, but when I cleaned my, this cartilage piercing with rubbing alcohol, it healed a lot faster than my rook piercing. Now, there could be something different between the piercings, like this one, my rook piercing could be thicker, and my cartilage piercing is probably thinner. Now with my nose piercing and me using the alcohol, my nose feels like completely healed. Like if I yank it out, it's probably gonna hurt because it's nose bone jewelry. Now for my paint scale on my nose piercing, um, I would say when she stuck the needle through it felt really sharp. Um, I would say it's a 4 out of 10. It didn't hurt that bad actually. I think this is the best cartilage piercing I've ever had. Like it hasn't even swelled up yet. Like not one bit, not infected, no keloid. I will film a few months update on my nose piercing if any of you guys are interested in that. But if you have any questions about my nose piercing, please comment down below and ask them. Feel free. And feel free to comment any suggestions for any videos because I'm always in search of new videos to make. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And hit that subscribe button and that notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button. And give me a thumbs up because I really appreciate it. And follow my social media that will be in the end card in a second. Bye!